number one point oh these are just a few of the screenshots that i've caught um during my time well glorious time in tsushima um every shot has been taken beautifully and um had me delay a few missions because of these beautiful, wonderful shots. Ghost of Tsushima was the last um, exclusive title for PS4. Um, and I must say that this title is the greatest title ever to grace the PS4. Even if it is the last title before we move on to the PS5. Which many people already have moved on to the PS5. But... Overall, Ghost of Tsushima is a wonderful game with wonderful combat. The, I think the combat definitely is wonderful. And the story as well. Ooh, excuse me. The story is just... It comes together nice. Where you can, as um, as Jin, you can go as, um, as regular Jin Samurai to go in swords blazing. Or you can just um, go in as the ghost and take out your enemy stealthily. And it works either way. Like I said, combat is just all kinds of wonderful. And like I said, the story is very well put together with numerous, numerous battles and um, numerous strategies on how to get around the battles without, you know, really drawing too much of a sword. Um, you can take out your enemy stealthily. And um, let's see what else. And you can pet foxes. That's the best part about the about Ghost of Tsushima. You can you can pet the fox. The fox can lead you to special charms to um, give you uh, more better abilities and to increase your the um, the rank up for, um, on your skill tree. To take on numerous heavy foes like warlords and and such. Um, just just basically um, overall, and you have. Um, four abilities to work with to help you in your battles against um, various type of enemies. You have the moon stance that I think helps you against uh, shields. I'm not sure. Um, then you have the um, oh fuck, I forgot the rest of the stances. But the rest of the stances um, protect you against other enemies. Um, that not just involve swords, but also involve um, other weapons as well. So, um, like, like I said, um, Ghost of Tsushima is just a, a wonderful game to play. Okay, um, I can't highly recommend it enough, but I I gotta highly recommend Ghost of Tsushima, to, especially for any newcomers that um, wants to get engaged into the story. All right. Um, let me see what else can I do. Like I said, oh, but also I haven't finished the whole story yet. Um, apparently, I will be getting to it soon. Um, I, I guess that's all I can talk about. Um, that's all I can. All all the opinions I can give on Ghost of Tsushima and its wonderful combat, its wonderful story. Beautiful art style and just beautiful, also beautiful landscapes. Um, just to stop, to look at a minute and just take a look at beautiful um, views from afar. Um, and um, I guess that's all I can. That's my personal take on um, Ghost of Tsushima. All right, so. So anyone willing to, um, for newcomers, want to um, check out something fun to play for their PS5 or PS4, I, once again, highly, highly recommend Ghost of Tsushima to front and back. And also, I forgot to mention, it also has now multiplayer. It has four-player co-op called Ghost of Tsushima Legends to um, pitch you up like um, with four players um, to go up against like waves of um, various enemies. And also, it has this like kind of like a story mode to it, its own little story mode to um to the Ghost of Tsushima Legends. But um <clears throat> overall, the um the, with the new edition of that Ghost of, uh, Ghost of Tsushima Legends, 
it's definitely a must buy in my opinion and that's why it's also definitely high on my list that's why i put it at 1.2 and you're probably wondering why i named got these okay because from 1.4 to 1 okay one point yeah 1.4 to 1.2 those are like my let's say honorable mentions those are my that's the way i i put as honorable mentions so um that's why cyberpunk is at number 1.3 because the game is wonderful but i just had a lot of bad experiences with it but i still pull through and this is why Ghost of Tsushima is number 1.2 on my list. Okay, because it is definitely the best game to play right now for your PS4 or PS5. Okay, so, like I said, if you want to go out and buy buy your first game for your PS5, I highly recommend getting this title first. Like, guarantee, you will have a good time. And then, like I said, if you got some bros together and... You want to get into the Ghost of Tsushima Legends? Definitely is worth playing. Alright. Um, that's... That's my... That's all I gotta give on Ghost of Tsushima. So... Um, to anyone who watches this video, thank you for watching, and, and I'll see you at number one. Alright? Finally at number one. <laughs> Sheesh. I'm so sorry this video... These videos took me so long to drop. Because, like I said, I'm not really too comfortable doing voiceover work like this and plus it took me a lot of time to get all these great footage and all these great clips together so i'm sorry for all that so, like i said check me out at number one and um i'll see y'all later later